Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We've got the next instalment of the Gaming Greats line. This one's from Jedi Fallen Order and it is the 13th Battalion Trooper. Um, if you remember in the game where it flashes back to a young cow um, trying to escape Order 66 with his master. And these are part of the battalion um, that Jaro Topol uh, was part of or commanded. Um, and then later on, we see them sort of just floating in the uh, crash Venator Star Destroyer on uh, blanking on the planet. Zepho. So yeah, a lot of these guys just sort of floating underwater. <laughs> Unfortunately, went down with the ship. But uh, yeah, this is one, you know, I like to get a second one of these just to have, you know, a couple of troopers standing next to each other. I did it with the Caminos, I did it with the 332nd, um, didn't get any of the new 212th, just that weren't available here, so, um, and those that managed to get them in were way overpriced, so I skipped on the 212th, um, but yeah, this one's shown up, and was able to get it for a bit better price than the $10 tax that comes with this sticker, <laughs> um, you know, there's a 55 here in Australia, the gaming greats. And uh, yeah, I managed to get it for less than 45, so I'm not going to complain about that. This is the gaming greats on the side. Yeah, so on the back, like I said, the 13th Battalion is an infantry unit of the Republic's Grand Army that earned the nickname Iron Battalion for their resilience in battle. They were led by Jedi Commander Jaro Topol and his Padawan Cal Kestis. So, pretty much what I just said before. <laughs> So yeah, without further ado, let's crack it open and have a look. All right, here we have this particular clone trooper and he's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm digging the nice sort of vibrant yellow. Um, it's almost a sort of mustardy color, but it's still quite nice. Um, you know, it's not quite the orange of the 212th and not quite the yellow of uh, Ayla Secura, Commander Blyer, that part of the, the Republic Army. I can't remember the number of you know, as soon as I stop recording, I'll remember. But yeah, it's sort of a nice sort of shade in between. Um, and I find that just the yellow on the helmet, so probably a little bit more vibrant than the rest of the yellow on the figure. Because um, the rest is looking a little bit more of that mustard. This one's sort of got a little bit more of a orange hue. I do like the sort of the arrow point on the chin there. And I do like that they've included this one with the, the black stripe around signifying it as a you know, a little bit more of the live action inspired figure as opposed to the animated ones that don't have the black um, sort of brow band around the figure there. So it's nice, but yeah, as for the most part, it is just a, you know, repaint of the, the clones that we've been getting for a couple of years now, uh, you know, with all the pinless tech, great articulation. It does come with blaster rifle here, which is one of these ones that are sort of sculpted in a much tougher plastic, you know, it doesn't have the flex that some of them have. Um, it just feels a lot more sturdier, probably a little bit more along the lines of like Bandai's weapons that they use and their accessories. Um, but this doesn't feel like it's going to snap at all. Um, you know, Bandai's stuff like the SH figure arts, you know, they can feel a little bit, um, you know, you flex it too much and it may snap, but this one's nice and tough. So you know, I'll, I hope that's something that continues. We'll see. But, um, but yeah, he's looking good. I just, yeah, really like the, really like the yellow. Love to see them in action a little more. Be a nice big yellow V on the chest. Looks good. And on the back. Yeah, loving the yellow markings. Just another nice army builder. And you could probably, you know what, you could probably fit this in with your Commander Bly. Um, you know, I don't have him at hand to sort of compare the yellows, but you know, probably if you sort of stood him behind Bly on the shelf, he'd probably work. But either way, I'm digging digging some clones. I think it's definitely time for Hasbro just to, you know, start slotting plain white clones into the waves every now and then. Just let folks army build. I know I would buy more 
I know a lot of people that would buy more. Um, just plain clones, you know, give people the chance to customize and have some fun. Um, but yeah, this is such a such a nice sculpted figure um, that I do, you know, would love some more clones. So yeah, this is a kind of a short review, just sort of going over, you know, a really nicely sculpted figure, um, nicely painted too. The yellows, you know, the paint apps are really nicely, nicely applied, nice and clean. But yeah, like most of us that have sort of gone through the prequel era and Clone Wars, we love seeing clones. And given that the Phase 2's just showed up in a brief scene of Andor, it'd be great to see him slotted in the line somewhere. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out in the comments below. Let me know if this one's on your radar or not. And given it has, at least here in Australia, has the gaming grades tax, which is a bit of a bummer, but I was fortunate enough not to have to pay that tax. So <laughs> I'm very grateful. So yeah, these are pretty much around EB Games and Zing now, um, which they're exclusive to here in Australia. So go and check them out, pick one up. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on another video very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always.